is coming, y'all. End of the millennium. A lot of lists being printed about who's the greatest person of the past thousand years. By great, they mean who had the most impact. Einstein, Edison, Freud. I can tell you one thing for sure. <laughs> My name won't be on that list. <laughs> Neither will anyone else's here and now. Bad men have their impact too. But you gotta be really bad. Ivan the Terrible, Jack the Ripper, Adolf Hitler. Yeah, old Adolf was an evil fuck. And let's face it, evil is the only thing that has survived intact these past thousand years. Booker T. Washington. Now he belongs on that list. Born a slave, he rose up and shook the tree. Everyone knew who he was, everyone all around the world. Even the President of the United States asked for his advice. Now how the fuck did Booker T do that? Mr. Booker T. Washington writes in his book, I have great faith in the power and influence of facts. It is seldom that anything is permanently gained by holding back a fact. You want some facts? The U.S. Department of Justice reports that the typical prisoner in America is an undereducated young male minority, but you could have guessed that. If that undereducated young male minority receives his GED in prison, he is far less likely to come back. W.E.B. Dubois. Let's have Kenny. If that same kid manages to go to college while he's inside, he'll almost definitely never see a prison cell again. Pick any page you want. Last year, one state, California, spent more money on its penal system than it did on higher education. These are the facts and figures. You ain't got to be that smart to add them up. Do you think that when the first millennium ended back in 999, that they made lists? Did they even know the millennium was ending? Now, you think a doctor or two would be in the top of the list of the greatest person of the millennium. I mean, doctors do research, discover disease, discover disease, but no one's going to put doctors right. Epstein and Barr, Dr. Yeoman Barre, Dr. Yeoman Barre, Dr. Dr. Downs, Downs or Dr. Dr. Alzheimer's on, on any list. Because for all their hard work, hearing their names fills us with dread. Their names make us sick. Maybe the greatest man of the millennium was a woman. Princess Di, Mother Teresa, Catherine the Great, Madame Curie, Marilyn Monroe. Say what you want about her, yo. She made her little slice of the millennium a shitload more interesting. Yo, imagine being remembered for a thousand years. The things you did when you was alive, reaching across time and touching the lives of people not yet born. <laughs> that's some dream. Yo, that's why people write books, start religions, find cures, run for president. But me, I don't want to be a great man. I don't care if I'm remembered for the next thousand years. All I ask is if we pass on the street, notice me. <laughs>